sounder. So I've got fish here on the mark. I'm just drifting a bit too fast. So what I'm going to do is turn this on, the bad boy, the mincoder. I'll show you a really groovy feature. Go away for it to come on. Didn't have it turned on. Okay, Altera double tap deploy. It's a beautiful thing. Watch it deploy. So good for my back. Okay, so, um, oh, tap tap. Hang on, getting distracted. Okay, that mark there. That's where I want to go to, go to. Spot lock on it. Ta-da. Away she goes. So she's going to take me right back to that mark that I've drifted off of. And she'll hold me straight on top of it. Uh, Sending me on the boat. There I am. We'll watch her as it takes me over. G'day everybody, Luke here. Beautiful day here on the Fraser Coast. It's Sunday morning. I'm out for an early morning fish uh, before the kids wake up. Then I'll head back in. We're going to grab the family and head over to Fraser for a family adventure. I'm out doing a little bit of jigging on some of the shallow reefs. You can see Fraser Island in the background. I'm not too far out. I'm in about 15 metres of water. I've got the Samurai Extractor light jigging rod rated to 120 grams. This thing is a dream to use. And I'm using little JP50 gram jigs. I really like these, how they've got all the little assist hooks all over them. Uh, you can't miss the fish when they nudge that. Uh, it hooks up every time. I'll show you exactly how I'm doing this jigging business, all right? There's, it's not rocket science, really, really easy. Usually I drift. When I find the fish, I throw the uh, electric motor down and hold me in the spot, all right? So I know there's, there's the sound is showing fish underneath me at the moment. The water's moving this way, okay? Now, if I drop straight down like this, my jig's gonna go a little way, probably three, four, five meters that way before it gets to the bottom. So I'll just give it a little cast there, and I just wait as it's going down. La la la. Okay, it's on the bottom now. The line stopped coming off. Bail arm across, wind in the slack, and give it a lift. And I can feel it when it's on the bottom when that line goes slack, okay? And I just bring it back so it's level with the boat. And then I'm pretty much jigging vertically, which is what you want. Now, all I do in these shallow inshore reefs, right? It's, I don't do anything fancy. It's really, really simple. I do exactly this. Hop, let it go down. Rip it up, let it go back down. Rip it up, let it go back down until it touches the bottom. Rip it up. Let it go back down to the bottom. And what that does, that jig, it, as it goes down, it's fluttering like this, and it gets to the bottom, and then you rip it up, and then it comes back down like this. So it looks like a wounded bait fish, okay? Sometimes, if I'm drifting along and I can, getting frustrated sometimes, I'll, I'll go a little bit quicker. If I notice the fish are sitting slightly high above the structure, so I'll let it get to the bottom, and then I'll do this. Wind, 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 wind and i'll do that about five times and then i'll just release it and let it go back down and all that does is accelerate that action so it's wafting as it goes to the bottom gets to the bottom and then i'm just going whoop uh, whoop uh, whoop all the way up and that's sometimes enough for a coral trout or whatever's down there to sort of look at it and chase it up and smack it and what you'll find is you'll sort of do you you rip it up like this and then you let go and that's when they grab it and then you go to do that and then bang you'll be under load I remember what I'm doing now okay so that's that's the two basic techniques that I use when I'm jigging around the Fraser Coast uh, same thing when you go deeper water all right it's just a little bit more work because you've got a bigger jig and you're down deeper um, let the lure do the work, okay? And remember, the lure will do mostly what your rod tip's doing, okay? So at the moment, nice and still, it's just going down, it's on the bottom now, bail arm across, wind up a bit of slack, lift, so it's up. Now it's wafted back down to the bottom. 
okay? And you'll see in this video, the product of doing this. Anyway, hope that helps you folks. Get out there, try a bit of jigging. It's good fun. All right, I know the bait fishers are looking at it right now going, ah, oh, nah, stuff that. I'll just whack a piece of whatever down there. But uh, this is a lot of fun. Maybe take a bait rig and a jig rig and see how you go. All the best folks, I'll see you around. All right, about to go home. Stow, it's a beautiful thing, I love it. Can't believe I'm leaving these fish. Ah! Anyway, it's got to be done. Got to go home.